Good evening, friends. Welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to a new series of videos on a new topic, body acceptance. My name is Faith Storms. I am a licensed social worker, therapist, and am on a personal journey with food, with um, recovering from diet culture, with coming to peace with my body. And the reason I am moved to start this series is a couple of things. One thing is I, I belong to this wonderful group called Peaceful Eating that's run by Tracy Brown, a registered dietitian who is marvelous. And I've been on a journey with intuitive eating for the past couple of years to heal my relationship with food. And, and that has gone amazing. I've really had some wonderful changes and have come to a great deal of peace. Actually, uh, yeah, I, I am at peace with food. Food is my friend. <laughs> and it, it, it took a little while, but um, with Tracy's help, with the group's help, it's been marvelous. And last week on one of our calls, one of our live calls, the leader of the call kind of challenged me about... Uh, I brought up, you know, my body rejection issues, you know, struggling with my body, the current size, the current shape. And I said something about like, I don't, I'm not going to just, you know, do, you know, look at my body and say good things about it or something like that. I forget exactly how I put it. And she, she challenged me. She's like, well, why not? Why, why wouldn't you? practice saying good things about your body. And I was like, oh, oh, I don't want to do that. And I sat with it. I sat with the resistance of it. And I realized, okay, like I'm not, I'm not really in acceptance of my physical self. Um, so, so, so I decided to, you know, I accepted that challenge I've been doing some work this past week, which has been reflected in some of my, my daily drip videos, having to do with how I feel about my body, how I feel about the size of it, the shape of it, the fact that, yes, I've gained weight in the past few years as I've been in this food recovery process, and some of my feelings about that. So, in my peaceful eating group, as I've been sharing some of my healing process, and I'm also in an EFT tapping group that I'm working with and processing body issues there, and then sharing how that's all going, like I'm cross, cross-pollinating, I guess you would say, the different groups I'm doing, the different healing things I'm doing. And I shared, I, I posted a big share in my peaceful eating group about the body work I'm doing. <clears throat> and several people in the group were, were helped by it. <laughs> and, um, and, and for me, the sharing is, is twofold. I mean, first of all, it helps me because of the way my brain works and my processing works, like to be able to type it out, or in this case, verbally share what is happening helps to, helps me to understand, helps me to process and filter things through, so it is useful, first of all, for me. So I'm doing it for me. And I was really like touched and amazed that other people were like, oh my gosh, this is so helpful. And I resonate with this and this is helping me. And I'm like, oh, well, good. Like, that's wonderful. If the work I'm doing can can be of, of use to others. So, so I decided to start a little series on here about my body acceptance journey from this point. <laughs> okay. And I chose the term body acceptance because the whole body positivity movement, I mean, I, I, have, I have nothing against it, but when I hear the word positive, it, to me, it's just a charged word. Because I don't feel positive about my body every day. And I, I, I think it's a high standard, <laughs> frankly. And I like, as a therapist, I, 
it's really important to me that, that my clients and folks I work with have achievable goals. And for me, just even that term is like, oh, it's, it's mixed. It's <laughs> a very mixed reaction to it. So for me, that's not a good goal. Body positivity, no. And, and for those that that term works for, that's awesome. Go ahead, use it. It's fine. And then I thought, well, how about body neutrality? It's like, well, <laughs> don't really like that either. Neutral, like, no. And again, that's okay. Some, some people, that's what they strive for. That's what they're working on. That's totally fine. I like body acceptance. And here's why I like it. <sighs> acceptance, me, to me, means that we are aware of the current state of affairs, that we are in touch with reality. However, it doesn't mean we like it. <laughs> and, and I, because I say this to clients a lot, like we need to accept where we're at. We need to accept our current situation. We need to accept that people are who they are. We never have to like it. So I think it's important. I want to get to a place of strong body acceptance. That doesn't mean I'm going to like my body every day. That doesn't mean I'm going to love it every day. I might some days. That's cool. And to be honest, I might hate it some days. Okay, let's be honest. I'm an honest person. I'm pretty. Here it is. However, no matter how I feel about it, I can still accept it. So for me, that is a very good goal and a good term to work towards. Now, thanks to growing up in Western culture, thanks to the diet industry, thanks to the fashion industry, thanks to Photoshop, thanks to all of that, of course, I have all kinds of mixed feelings about my body, as most human beings do maybe especially females, although eating disorders are rising in males too. Uh, males are not exempt from the effects of our culture that says that people should look a certain way and be a certain size and shape and all that nonsense. <sighs> so in this journey, I will be exploring my thoughts and feelings and judgment <laughs> about my body and sharing that with you in terms of how can we face these things? How can we address these things? How can we neutralize the judgment, the shame, the guilt, the embarrassment, the whatever, whatever we're carrying. And we all carry a lot of things about our physical bodies. Many folks I know grew up in homes where they were body shamed from early ages or at some point, and that's terrible or they were food shamed, or their, their eating habits, or their eating desires were, were shamed. And that all needs to be healed and released. Everybody is different. Everybody's metabolism, everybody's health is different. Everybody's energy is different. We all need different things for our recovery. We all need different things to be healthy. So I hope this will be of help to you. I know it's going to, to help keep me on track with facing the current and present feelings and judgment about my body and help me get to a better place. I hope it, this is also of service and useful for any of you watching it. If you have questions, if you have any issues you'd like me to address in one of these videos, I would be glad to, to, to the best of my knowledge. I'm not a medical doctor. I'm not a dietitian. Um, I'm just working on this myself. I'm in recovery from food issues and body issues and a little bit of body dysmorphia, nothing too serious, but I wanted peace and I got peace with my food through the peaceful eating community. And now I want more peace with my body and want to share some of the process, some of the journey with you all. So I don't know if I will be doing these videos every day, but I will be posting um, 
body acceptance videos on a regular basis because I am addressing this <laughs> on a nearly daily basis. So I'll be sharing that with you at least several times a week. All right. If this is of help to you, please subscribe to my channel, like the video, post a comment, post a question, and I will get back to you. Have a good evening.